smile. Oh, good, good lad. Right, lads. You've got me number. Get back to us as soon as you can, eh? I know it's a lot to take in all in one go, but just remember, nobody ever changed their lives by thinking small. Eh, uh, Barry, is there any chance of a lift, like, you know, just part of the way me bike's buggered? You can't leave it in the river, then. Man, I thought you said you borrowed it. I know, but the bloke don't know it yet. All right, come in. Oh, cheers, mate. There's a spare cut at my gaff, if you're stuck for a kip. Cheers, that'll be cool. When you're the tycoon, Barry, what do you think of this idea? I don't know, Brom. I must admit I admire its impudence. Nothing wrong with that. Boldness be my friend, hard me audacity, Edward V, the fifth, I think. Shakespeare. That's right, Box. I'm not stupid. I'm just strange. Tossin! Yes, and you. Thank you. How much you get one after cuff up? Each like. Ten grand plus change. I haven't even got the plus change. Seventy-five pissing grand. <laughs> ah, easy. Right about one thing though, we could all do with a boost. But you're all right, you've got your own business. Are you still? People like you stuffed it. How do you mean people like me? You import ready built buildings, Neville, and DIY freaks put them up themselves at the weekends. Where does that leave artisans like me? Artisans? Dinosaurs, more like. This whole area used to be pit villages, man. Everybody worked for the colliery. You know what they do now? What? All the men wear hairnets and pack airline meals. Everything's changed, Dennis. Deal with it. Sorry if your room's a bit basic, kid, but I just moved in a couple of weeks ago. It's a nice little village. Quaint. Oh, it's quaint. I kind of get used to waking up to the sound of cows in the morning. <laughs> Mind I've woken up with a few in me time, like. <clears throat> no, I came here to get away from old haunts and bad habits, you know. But when I got out to jail, it was a case of get me tools out, head down, arse up, and graft like a black man. That's just an expression, you know. It's a compliment, really. So where was your father working when he met your mother? Nigeria. Piss off. My mum's from Camberwell. They met at a madness concert at the Lyceum. Madness? I thought you must have been a Stones fan of Lumber here with a name like Wyden. No. I mean, you'd hardly idolise the bass player, would you? No. I think she wanted it to be close to Wayne without actually being Wayne. My professional name's a spin maestro, though. So what? The spin maestro, because that's what I do. Spin. Spin? DJ. Oh, all right, sir. Mostly round London, sometimes further afield. I've never been round these parts. Your father was up here once, just before we all went off to Spain. That's why I came up here. All you lot knew him, and I never did. He was the only person to get all of his questions right. Michael is statistically the round's weakest link. Will his game be over now? Go. Yeah. Are you there? Who you think is the usual Cosmo. Right. It's easy on the cranberry. And for Caddy, David. martini, straight up, couple of olives. David. Let's do it. Cheers. Buddy. Oh, sorry, baby. Who has now lost the plot? <laughs> 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 
Uh, <laughs> well, at least it was good to see old friends again. On the other hand, if you see the Duke of Edinburgh, stay out of the way, Michael, because you know nothing about nature and he's very... You shouldn't say no faces when I tooled up in the Bentley. Why, David? <laughs> David... See, all those years ago, they, they used to see me as a bit of a radish, can you believe it? But if you're watching this programme... Ah, oh, sorry, babe. Probably myself. That's correct. Never heard of the Birmingham... Why don't you get for yourself something to eat? Statistically, well, it doesn't seem to be much in the fridge, actually. Then call for a curry. I have never stopped all day. David! With four votes... You are the weakest link. Goodbye. Boy, boy! Я знал, что он будет первым. staff do you employ, Mr. Hope? Why do you assume he runs the business? We do everything together. Lorraine looks after the phones and the filing. It's mostly done on the internet. People order by email, and then the stuff's sent direct from the suppliers in Sweden. Pre-packed, ready to bolt together. And who looks after the VAT? That's always been Brenda's province. Thanks for the blame shifting. Yes, we're behind. But we've been having to give three months credit just to stay competitive. You are severely behind. Have you any idea what it's like to run a small business with these margins? And a home. And raise three kids. Are you married? That's not really relevant, Brenda. It is to me. Do you own your own home? Yeah, less a couple of mortgages. We took out the second one when we kicked off the business. We haven't got a second home in the Algarve. We spent last summer in a rented caravan on Windermere. Brenda, please. She's just trying to do her job. Just because you haven't got the balls to face up to these people. Oh, you were the one that bollocks the figures. That doesn't mean they can treat us like criminals. I'll put it right, okay? Or would you just like to lock us up now and throw away the keys? I still find it hard to describe what I felt when I went into prison. The banging of doors, the cries in the night, the smell of urine and overcooked cabbage, the almost tangible smell of fear itself. Yet I was more afraid of coming out into the sunshine of a hostile world. It, it... It was... It was part of the price of starting over. I'm so sorry. And uh, who's this one to? To my dear friend, Oz. What can we do for you, Oz? Ooh, I could think of a few things, Pet, but I'm going to have to settle for a cup of tea with your boss. Thanks, Pet. Well, I hope this bloody book sells. I'm still crippled with legal fees, and since the divorce, the wife got the house in Westminster. Smoked salmon and bubbly. It's not exactly skid road, Jeffrey. This is all on the publisher's nut. Well, I plonk my 20 quid down. I've no intention of reading it, mate. Well, I suggest that you at least peruse chapter 16, Talking to God. I've been too busy talking to the lads. You have them, they're set. Virtually. Virtually doesn't pack it, Oz. As soon as the ink is dry on those permits, I want work to start on the bridge. If you can't guarantee it, I'll have to go elsewhere. Don't sweat it, Geoffrey. I'm crewed up, all right? Yeah. Mm. They look like mercenaries. Who's the Bentley belong to? Ah, uh, it's... Barry Taylor. Top man in his field. Import-export with the Ivans. Uh -huh. So the money shouldn't be a problem then. Oh, morning Mr Taylor. I hope you're not planning to drive another forklift today. Well, I get bored in the office. I'm very hands-on, me, Arthur. I know, Mr. Taylor. But it was an awful lot of mess to clear up. This is what I love about our business. The way it unites people of the world. Just think, families in Azerbaijan will be eating pickled onions bottled in Warsaw. It brings us all closer together, doesn't it, Arthur? Ah, oh, it does that.